What's up, everybody? It's my general hospital thoughts about today's episode, Tuesday, April 17, 2012. Today was a, a great episode, and let me say to all the haters that said Sonny was going down this time, kiss Sonny Corinthos' ass. He won. Anyway, I knew he was going to win because, for one, where the hell did they get this district attorney from? I just want to acknowledge something here. In real life, a case like this would have never got past a judge. You would have never got a warrant to charge him in the first place. Because for one, everything they had against him was circumstantial. They didn't even have enough to charge him with it. How the hell did this get all the way to trial? The DA kept bringing up so much dumb stuff that they made no sense. Like Everything he brought up, Alexis pretty much poked holes in it. And I understand people were saying, why didn't she bring up the fact that Sonny got shot? She didn't need to. Once she got Anthony on the, on the witness stand, he was their key witness. And she pretty much destroyed his testimony. With one little word, she destroyed it. And when Star got on the stand for one, she everything she was saying was stuff that Anthony told her that night that happened. So she was going off stuff based on what he told her. So it wasn't going to work. All of it wasn't going to work because they was going on stuff that he told her. So it was dumb to me. Second of all, Star got on my damn nerve. I, I, I like her, you know, I, I want her with Michael, but she got on my nerves today with the outburst in the courtroom. She pissed me off, like, because she's so hell-bent that he won. I'm like, the jury wouldn't find him not guilty if they didn't believe he was he was guilty of it. They seriously. Everybody know. Alexis could say Sonny's a coffee importer or she want. Everybody in Port Charles know what he do. They all know. It's no big secret. So, obviously, they feel strongly that he didn't do this. So, let it go. Johnny was just upset because another one of his attempts to get Sonny in prison didn't work. Of course, he's going to be upset about that. Because every time he goes up against Sonny, he loses. So, I'm like, yo, leave it alone. Every time Johnny goes up against Sonny, he either gets shot or his plan goes it backfires on it. So I'm like, yo, find a new target. Uh, Carly, when she walked in Michael's apartment asking, oh, what was Star doing here? I, I just pretty much yelled at the TV and said, mind your business. <laughs> seriously, I just yelled at the TV and said, mind your business. Like, seriously. She always in somebody's business. But then when he got something to say about her and Johnny, she defended it. He you know, he's Michael is grown. He don't have to explain anything to her. He's grown. He got his own apartment. He's paying for it. So mind your business. He can have whoever he wants there. Mind your business. Uh and when she went into the and when Carly went into the courtroom and she sat with Johnny instead of sitting where Jason was sitting, I was like, oh no, this bitch did not. I was like, yo, if I was Jason, I'd be done with that trick. Like, come on, Jason never took anybody's side over Carly. Like seriously, he always been there for Carly. And she gonna do that stupid shit? Are you serious? I would have been done with the bitch. Like, seriously, and I agree with Sonny. Where the fuck is Carly loyalty like? Where is it? I understand she's been loyal to Sonny for a couple years now. I get that. That's all good in hand. But loyalty is supposed to be forever, not supposed to be you're okay, he did something, so you're done. And Sonny didn't even do it. So But I do believe Johnny did not frame him. I, I seriously doubt it. I, I don't believe it. Because Sonny do always blame Johnny for everything when, in fact, Johnny is not the culprit. So I don't believe it. But uh, Star, yeah, she's starting to get on my nerves. Anyway, on the other business, Kate looked like she was about to lose her fucking mind. She really needs to go to Shady Brook. Stop putting it off. Just go to Shady Brook, please. Now, Heather Weber. I hate when she kept wasting time. I seriously thought she was going to tell Jason right then and there, but I got sick and tired of her wasting time. She should have told him right there instead of going in circles about what happened that day and saying there was complications. Why don't you just tell him? It pissed me off. I'm like, Heather, just stop sugarcoating it and tell him. Jason, when he walked up on her, he was, like he was about to choke this bitch. I was like, yeah, do it, do it, do it. But he ain't going to do it, of course. Sam... I knew the baby was Franco's from the moment they said that the baby was waving in the sonogram. I knew it was Franco's because I'm like, come on. Jason is pretty much antisocial. He don't wave. So I knew the baby was Franco's. I doubt that the tests were wrong because John did use his FBI connections to get the test. So I doubt that they're wrong. And I'm sure John McBain and I heard that the tests weren't even done 
it at the general hospital. They weren't even done in Port Charles. They were they were sent off. Um, well, maybe they weren't, but I'm not sure. But he had FBI connections, so I'm sure the tests were accurate. And I'm sure Heather Weber didn't change them. There's no way she could have changed them. Um, but Sam, now that she do know the truth, I still believe she might not tell him. I don't believe she might not tell him because I don't like the way they're writing Sam. I mean, and, and I said this on my last video. People who want to see Liz, I think Liz came a long way since before with the Lucky situation. So I think she could handle Jason's life now. But before, like I was trying to say, she couldn't handle his life back in 07. Because for one, when she was pregnant with Jake, she tried to hide the baby from Jason. She didn't want him to know the true paternity. Because one, she was married to Lucky. Two, he was in the mob. Jason was in the mob. So I can understand why she didn't do that. She really just, I don't really kind of believe she can handle his life. Sam, I used to love Sam because Sam was badass. Like, she could definitely handle Jason's lifestyle. But I think this pregnancy changed her perspective on his business and her being a PI and stuff like that, but more so his business. I think it changed her perspective because now they got a baby. It's not all the way, now it's no longer all about them. They have to worry about the safety of their child. So, him being in a mob reflects on their kid, it puts a baby at risk. So I th now I see where she's coming from with that. I really do. But the lying and stuff like that, I don't see it. Because people keep saying, oh, he pro she's protecting him. When Jason protects Sam, it's different. It's a little different. Do you not see Jason? The dude, he, come on, he's a mob hit me. He's an enforcer. He could definitely protect himself. He, yeah, he got feelings just like everybody else. But I'm sure he's not going to go off the deep end and try to murder somebody. If he finds out Franco is his brother, he's going to deal with it to, in his own way. Sam, if she, if she loved Jason the way she says she do and she trusts him like she do, why can't she trust his judgment and trust that he's going to take this well? The more she keep hiding it from him, the more he's going to resent her for lying to him every time. And it would have been worse if Heather had to tell him instead of his own wife. It would have been worse question. I have a question for any viewer out there who can tell me, how the fuck long is John McBain going to be on Port Charles? Please let me know if you find out the, for the status on his contract or a recurring role. I know Star signed a three-year deal. I know she locked in, but find out for me about McBain because I'm skeptical about that. I hope it ain't full term. I can't keep seeing him go after Sonny. It's starting to get on my damn nerves. He needs to go after the Zakars for once. I'm tired of seeing Johnny. They need to get some new mob rivals in for Sonny. Like they did with Lorenzo Alcazar and all them. They keep bringing in, you know, bringing in some new uh, mob people to come in after Sonny. Or this time after Johnny. Because I'm tired of everybody gunning for, for Sonny all the time. It's starting to piss me off. So, uh, I hope. And I heard, like I said, there's a rumor that Star is going to hook up with Johnny, make some deal with Johnny Zakar. And um, let me touch base on this Pedalia situation with her husband. Finally, we see her husband. I'm like, where the fuck he been at? Anyway, I'm kind of skeptical because the way he was talking, it make it seem like he was genuinely serious that he did not do the beatings of the girls. He was serious. I don't know if I believe him or not, but anyway, Pedalia, she needs to be fired because she was feeding Johnny Zakar information on the Sunny Corinthos case, so I do believe she needs to be fired for that. Um. Anyway, before I go, let me just ask, do anybody know a nickname for Star Michael yet? It was supposed to be Star Mike or something like that. I don't know. If you know the nickname, please let me know so I can write it in the comments whenever people ask me about couples I want to see together. And if anybody have any uh, requests for a video review that they want to see me do or touch base on, just let me know. I, depending on the video or the topic, I do it. So, see you all tomorrow. I'm out.